from our last webinar, we got a lot of questions of what XDM is, um, you know, how I configure and so forth. So I think for the, you know, high level XDM is a schema, but it is built on classes plus mixins. So my question over to you, Rudy, can you kind of go over what a class and a mixin is within the AEP platform? Sure. So <clears throat> we understand that, you know, creating the schema and dealing with that is a, is a departure from what folks who have been doing implementations for years and years now, uh, it's a big departure from what they're used to. Uh, so, I mean, a schema just basically it allows you to teach Adobe what you're gonna send to us. And it helps you define the name value pairs of the type of data you're sending. So for years, we forced people to use props and EVARs. Um, and, you know, you guys even made great shirts about the best shirt, uh, best friends for EVAR. Um, but, and while the props and EVARs aren't going away inside of analytics, you don't need to concern yourself on the implementation side. So what we're trying to do is make it so that you can construct your implementation as something that feels natural and logical. So sending over name value pairs that make sense. The XDM model, what it does is it allows you to say, okay, here are the name value pairs that are gonna be coming in and then you can configure and tell Adobe what it needs to do with those name value pairs. In analytics, we're gonna take these name value pairs and we're gonna push them into these props and EVARs. Uh, or we're gonna push the data over to target, or we're gonna have a bi-directional data flow with analytics and target. And so the XDM and schemas, I'm sorry, the, uh, the schemas, the mixins and the classes allow you to customize that schema for your specific needs. Every single business has a different set of tracking needs and they have a different language that they use. So what their acronyms and the name value pairs that they might wanna use are, are very different from the very next customer, even if they're in the exact same vertical. So the mix-ins and the classes allow you to, there are some that we've pre-built that are great for, that have, you know, really good e-commerce name value pairs already set up, you know, search name value pairs already set up. Uh, other product view and, and things like that that allow you to quickly construct a schema. Um, you can build out your own custom mix-in or class. So if you've got something very specific that you wanna do, you can build it and save it so that you can reuse it across multiple sites. Uh, but basically you can think about the mix-ins and the classes as kind of modular pieces for helping you to quickly build out uh, your schema. Over time, I anticipate that those schemas will be or those mix ends might be tied to maybe a new feature inside of our reporting engines. So I think long ago, you know, um, like when the marketing channels report first came out long, long ago, and you had to move over to um, uh, a certain version of the S code or, or to um, app measurement to, to be able to leverage that. And so this thing you can think of mix ends, there may be something new some new way, some new tracking that we're doing that you might be able to just, okay, this is already pre-configured. I can slide that into place and have it work. <laughs>